All right, so the last part of inequalities for today is actually solving inequalities. You solve inequalities the same way you solve two-step equations. However, there's one difference. When you multiply or divide by a negative number, you must flip the sign. So in the four examples you see in front of you, the way I started this off is any of the examples that had a negative coefficient, I went ahead and boxed that coefficient because that lets me know that eventually at the end of the problem, I'll need to flip the sign. So once you recognize that, the rest of this is extremely easy. So you solve this just like you'd solve a two-step equation. So the first thing I would do in this example is take 5 away from each side, which will leave me with 4x is less than or equal to 20. To finish this, I would divide each side by 4. So negative 20 divided by 4 is negative 5. A couple things to look out for here. One is that because we did not divide by a negative, the sign stays the same. You'll notice that. Also, this piece is important that you use a calculator for this or draw counters. Negative 15 take away 5 is negative 20. And then negative 20 divided by 4 is negative 5. Go ahead and pause the tape and try the one in the yellow now. Okay, when we notice this one in the yellow, a couple things. First, it is a negative coefficient. So I'm boxing that to make sure I flip the sign at the end. I also see that the variable is on the right, which means the variable needs to stay on the right-hand side the entire problem. We're not moving the variable around. Then we just solve. So the first thing we do is we add 11 to each side, and we find that negative 1 is greater than negative 3x, because negative 12 plus 11 is negative 1. From here, we're going to divide each side by negative 3. Negative 1 divided by negative 3 is 1 third, and x is on this side. The key here is because we divided by that negative, at the end of the problem, the inequality sign flips. It started as an equals, I'm sorry, a greater than sign. It ends as a less than sign. And I'm going to go back and put a check over my box because I remembered to do that. Also, please notice the x started on the right-hand side of the inequality, and that's where it ends. It does not move around. Wherever the variable starts, that's the side it ends on. Go ahead and try the one on the right now, and unpause it when you're ready to check your solution. Okay, so in this problem, the first thing we did is we took 5 away from each side of the inequality. 10 minus 5 is 5. These 5's canceled out, so we're left with 5x. So 5 is greater than 5x. Divided each side by 5, 1 is greater than x. We did not need to change the inequality sign because our coefficient was positive. The last problem up here, automatically, because I have this boxed in, I know that at the end of the problem, my inequality sign needs to be facing this direction because it's going to flip. So the first step to solving this, I have to get rid of this 6, so I subtract 6 from each side. That leaves me with negative x is greater than or equal to negative 4. I divide each side by negative 1. x is less than or equal to positive 4. Inequality, I'm sorry, the variable is on the left. It stayed on the left. The inequality sign flipped because I had a negative coefficient. All right. Your classwork for today, bit.ly slash grade seven day three.